G'day, welcome to Nova Rover. We are a multidisciplinary student team based at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. Since the 2018 URC, we have expanded our team to 33 members covering chassis, electrical, arm, software, science, logistics, and communications subteams. All of our members have been hard at work designing a lighter, smarter rover to compete in the 2019 competition. The 2019 Rover features a new custom suspension system designed in-house by the chassis team. The focus was to ensure that the Rover would maintain control over its position at all times over any of the anticipated terrain. In order to achieve this, we designed a custom bogey system which allows each of the six wheels to move independently with respect to the frame. The flexible design provides even weight distribution and ensures all six drive wheels maintain contact with the ground at all times. The large footprint six-wheel design paired with a low centre of gravity provides excellent stability and control on any incline. We designed a modular frame with common drive wheel units to allow us to quickly and easily replace any of the six units with a common spare. Our new Rover custom six-wheeled suspension system and frame has provided a highly controllable and stable platform for our 2019 Rover. Building upon the previous mission success of the Endeavour scientific payload and experimental portion of the 2018 science cache task, we are looking to integrate a suite of in-situ biochemical life detection assays and innovative mechanical systems into this year's Sagan scientific payload. Over the past two years, we've explored a range of manufacturing methods to develop a custom drill that meets the demands of the science team and limitations of the rover. Adapting to this year's new rule set, we have developed a novel soil processing and analysis unit that extracts organics from soil samples and uses spectrophotometry to search for biosignatures. Sagan will therefore have the capability to search for the presence of lipids, proteins and enzyme activity as a proxy for cellular viability and therefore the presence or absence of life. Following from our experience in last year's competition, we have drastically increased the overall quality of parts with advanced fabrication techniques in the arms of assembly system allowing for better rigidity and management of stress concentrations. The new construction of the arm linkages lowers weight and increases the range of motion of the arm. Belt drives are used to reduce motor backlash and 24 volt linear actuators provide robust lifting force. The end effector has been redesigned to better grasp three-dimensional objects. The spring-loaded fingers provide an encompassing grip on the variety of shapes required. This year, we've completely redesigned the electrical system with the aim of making every subsystem as efficient and reliable as possible. We've changed our approach to battery management, incorporating voltage, current and temperature monitoring and a safety shutdown switch into a single modular unit. The drive motors are controlled by six high-performance Talon SRXs, utilizing their advanced onboard PID algorithms. Our various subsystems communicate via CAN bus, which is a tough, fast and reliable communication protocol originally designed for automotive applications. We've designed and built our own custom PCBs, including seven motor drivers for the arm, with onboard microcontrollers enabling tight feedback loops and in-situ diagnostics. The brain of the system is the NVIDIA Jetson TX2, a versatile computer powered by NVIDIA's Pascal architecture, with powerful integrated deep learning capabilities and a platform purpose-built for AI tasks like computer vision and autonomous navigation. This year, software team have focused our efforts on addressing the shortfalls of last year's software system. To allow for faster debugging and software development overall, we have begun using the Webot simulator to test our code independently from the actual physical rover. And our new control center GUI will allow us to see the status of the rover and all peripherals attached, such as sensors, camera, feeds, and radio connectivity. Our primary navigation camera is a dual lens 180 degree field of view camera, viewable through a VHA headset, which provides depth perception to the driver and is important for spotting obstacles that might otherwise trip up the rover. We've also changed the semi-directional base station antennas, which will improve signal strength, and we will also be employing both a more reliable 900 megahertz radio system, as well as a higher bandwidth 5 megahertz system. Behind the scenes of all of these systems are state machines, which manage the status of all parts of the software stack, so that the rover is able to adapt to its behavior to whatever conditions it is currently experiencing. For example, switching states from traverse during the autonomous task to avoid when detecting an obstacle to search when the rover has reached its destination. Path planning is calculated based on real height map data to avoid any extreme slates. And to detect the tennis ball, we have developed and trained our own neural network that has 23 convolution and two detection layers. These will enable the network to detect the tennis ball regardless of distance or environmental interferences. 